and welcome to Aquatics by Nature. I'm quite excited today, I want to show you the, how my little reef tank is progressing. Uh, things have really changed since I did my last little update a few weeks ago. Um, just for a little bit of background, the, the tank is now actually about seven months old and it's interesting what they say about tanks and marine tanks in particular that they take six months or so to start to mature and kick in and start to function properly. It certainly seems to be true of this tank. As I said, the tank is now about seven months old. It's had no water changes, it's had no dosing, uh, it has no filtration, it's literally just circulation and lighting, and the rest is just left up to nature, just to let it tick along a little bit. Um, since the last video, I've made one fairly major change, is I've added this circulation pump here which has massively increased the amount of turnover of water. Um, certainly the corals have really appreciated that. Um, growth has really kicked off since. Um, whether it's the flow or whether it's just the much improved gas exchange at the surface, I'm not really sure. But it's definitely had a, a big effect. The, the growth has gone from very slow to really quite scary in some respects. Some corals like this um, encrusting Xenia is growing almost day by day which is quite staggering really for such a basic sort of tank. Um, I'm actually feeding the tank regularly each day now. Um, just a tiny, tiny little bit of flake food. Um, not very much at all. Um, basic philosophy here is to actually feed the ecosystem and not corals. So basically the, the critters in the tank, which have now multiplied like crazy, eat the fish food and their waste, their larvae, etc., becomes coral food, and the whole sort of ecosystem goes round and round, keeps everything ticking along. But uh, there's millions, I don't know if I can, can see this, excuse me turning it round, but there's loads and loads and loads of amphipods crawling all over the glass in the tank here. Um, these little creatures seem to be remarkably good at eating algae. Uh, if you look at these sides and the back of the tank here, um, they haven't been cleaned since I set it up seven months ago. Um, the, everything is basically down to them and a few little tiny colonists of snails that have appeared in the tank. I've only wiped the front glass, nothing else in the tank at all. Uh, so there's lots and lots of life. You can probably see all these little white lines all over the filter box in the corner here and the back glass. Uh, they're millions and millions of little tiny tube worms that have appeared absolutely everywhere in the tank. Um, amazing how so many can come from so little. I've only actually introduced these little tiny coral frags which are all cultivated from aquaria. There's no live rock or anything being introduced from the wild as such. So it's amazing where things come from. There's also one or two rather spectacular, I don't know if I can get the camera to focus on it, but just underneath this particular coral here, there's a rather beautiful bright red tube worm but unfortunately I don't think it's bright enough for the camera to film on it and also again I don't know if you'll ever see it underneath this coral here right in the middle there that little round ball is some kind of sea squirt or perhaps a sponge that has appeared so it's amazing what just comes from absolutely nowhere it just takes a little bit of time and patience for all these things to appear but so a quick sort of overview the Pulsing, well not pulsing in case this encrusting xenia is growing like crazy. The little pulsing xenia is really getting going. Um, yeah, toadstool doing well. A couple of Kenya trees doing well. Even the green one which unfortunately is closed at the moment is doing quite well. And actually I think my favourite in some ways is this coral at the back here. Which I bought as a finger coral but I'm not actually sure it isn't just another toadstool. But rather nice whatever it is. Uh, Gorgonia as well seems to be doing quite nicely on the left here. Rather curiously it seems to be growing sideways rather than upwards but it doesn't really matter. Whatever way it wants to grow is fine by me. But uh, the thing I love about soft corals is their movement. And, you know this just the movement of things like the toadstool here is hypnotic. Quite interesting to say the least. And even the zinnia there waving away is rather nice. You know, I think now the tank is really sort of settling down and starting to come to a bit more life. 
I think it's probably time to finally do a little bit of rock work in the next few weeks and actually try and make the tank look a bit more like a tank rather than a frag tank. And then you never know, by the end of the year I might even go mad and get the couple of clownfish that I actually set the tank up for originally. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, you've gained a little bit from this. Thank you.